Hi, welcome to Theory of Computation. In this video lecture, let's discuss about deductive proofs. Given a theorem statement, when we wanted to prove the theorem using deductive proof, we will start from the theorem statement and then deduce towards the conclusion of the theorem. When we go from the theorem statement towards its conclusion, we follow different steps. With every step, we have to reason out why we have changed from the previous step to the current step. This is the deductive proof. Let us see an example. So, in this every step, we have to reason out. And the theorem we are trying to prove is this one. If x is the sum of the squares of 4 positive integers, then 2 power x is greater than or equal to x squared. Now, using this, we can write x as a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. Why? Because x is the sum of squares of 4 positive integers. So, assuming a, b, c and d are 4 positive integers, I, we can write x as the sum of the squares of 4 positive integers. So, it is actually the given statement in the theorem. Now, since these a, b, c, d, c and d are all positive, we can write a is greater than or equal to 1, b is greater than or equal to 1, c is greater than or equal to 1 and d is greater than or equal to 1 because they are all positive integers. So, this is also a given statement in the theorem. Now, from 2, if we square both the sides of the inequality, we get a squared is greater than or equal to 1 squared which is also 1. Similarly, b squared is greater than or equal to 1 c squared greater than or equal to 1 and d squared greater than or equal to 1. How do we get this one? This we get from step 2 and we apply the properties of arithmetic. That is squaring both the sides of inequality will not change the sign of the inequality or the direction of the inequality. Then now we can substitute the values for a squared, b squared etc in step number 1 and say x is greater than or equal to 4. This equal to became greater than or equal to because a squared b squared or at the least value is 1. Otherwise it is greater than 1. So we get by the properties of arithmetic x is greater than or equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is 4. So, we get this step number 4 using step number 3, step number 1 and the properties of arithmetic. Now, when we have seen the proof with induction, we have already proved that if x is greater than 4, then 2 power x is greater than or equal to x squared. This we have already established using induction. Now, with step number 4, we have already proved that x is greater than or equal to 4. Now, combining the step number 4 and the results of the theorem, if x greater than or equal to 4, then 2 power x is greater than or equal to x squared, then we conclude 2 power x is greater than or equal to x squared. Because if the hypothesis is true, then this conclusion has to be true. And this hypothesis we have established here that it is x is greater than or equal to 4 is true. So, this conclusion follows. So, this is deductive proof. In the next video session, I will meet you with another proving technique called structural induction. Thank you for watching the video.